Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to our final day of devotions this week as we are considering the theme, what does it mean to be blessed? And that understanding that we are invited. We are being invited. The great invitation from God comes as we learn what it means to follow Jesus and follow his will and his way for our lives. The the last beatitude, it's not the last beatitude, there's there's several of them um, in the, the scriptures, but the one that we're going to end on this week is uh, the one that had that is in verse seven of chapter five, and it says this: "Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy." Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. What does it mean to have mercy? <laughs> it means the willingness to forgive. The willingness to forgive. And you know, um, I remember, <laughs> and, it, and I heard this quote, so it just made me think of an experience that I had. Um, when I was probably seven years old, something like that, um, I got a bicycle and my dad was trying to teach me how to ride. And um, so uh, it was not, I, I know my, my father did not mean to do this, but we were living on a hill um, and he pushed me down <laughs> the hill and I lost control of the bike and I went straight into a, a shrub that had thorns on it. It was not a pleasant experience, and it was a couple years before I got back on that bike. <laughs> and and someone just and, and what made me remember that that it was um, a definition of forgiveness, which it can, it says can seem like pulling the prickles of a weed out of your hand. Well, think about pulling thorns or prickles out of your whole body. Um, that's what forgiveness looks like, and maybe I didn't forgive my dad for two years, or I was just traumatized by it, but um, my dad didn't mean that, of course, of course, but um, it is hard business that we think about when we're thinking about what does forgiveness mean. It is not easy to truly forgive, especially when we have been hurt in some way. It is not easy to let it go, especially when someone hasn't asked for forgiveness. And yet, blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Another place Jesus says, forgive. Right? Help us to forgive those who have trespassed against us as we are forgiven. <coughs> as we are forgiven for the trespasses of our lives. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. That doesn't mean that God doesn't forgive us more generously than we forgive others, but there is something that happens in our lives when we forgive. Because when you and I forgive, we open up more space in our lives for love. When we refuse to forgive, we become like I was filled with prickly stuff that hurts. And that's where, um, in another place in the Bible, in the New Testament, it talks about don't let, don't let unforgiveness be a root of, uh, become a root of bitterness in your life. Do not let your anger, your, vi your feeling violated in some way, keep you from experiencing mercy in your own life. That's what it's like. It's hard to be vulnerable. And yet, in Romans 5, 8 says, Yet while we were sinners, not before we asked for forgiveness, but while we were sinners, Christ died for us. That Christ willed for you and for me to have a life that is in relationship with God fully like His was. He wanted us to see that it's a different way to get there than the world tells us. It's a different way for us to live with blessing as we 
hunger and thirst for righteousness and justice. As we are merciful, as we, as we forgive others that have wronged us. As we mourn and are comforted by God because we know our need for God. As we are poor in spirit and recognize how much love God has for you and for me. It's an amazing thing to walk this path that God calls us to. And we're not finished with all the the Beatitudes, but you know what? You can read them for yourself, and I would encourage you to meditate upon them and think about your own life and how each of these Beatitudes speak to your life and where you are right now. Where are we missing the mark for receiving the full blessing that God really wants to give you and and me? Where are we missing it? Are we harboring a sense of unforgiveness and bitterness in our lives because the person hasn't asked for forgiveness? Have we become prideful instead of humble? God wants to do that work in your life and in mine from the inside out because when it gets out, it draws people closer and draws us closer, but it draws other people closer to the will and the way of God. So my prayer for you is that you will receive the blessing of God in your life this week. And as we come back on Sunday to gather together, to count and ask God's continued blessings, that we may experience it in relationship and in love. Maybe so. Amen and amen.